Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'll be showing you how you can make an enemy AI that will always follow the player. Now as you can already see in this scene we already have an AI enemy which I created earlier but of course for the sake of this video and the tutorial I'll be making a brand new one. So the first thing you want to do is go into your third person folder and into blueprints. Now, depending on whether this is first person or third person, it'll be different, but you just want to select your BP third person character or the player basically. What you want to do is you want to duplicate this and you can name this whatever, but for the sake of this video, I'll just be calling it BP underscore AI. Once you have this done, you want to open this up and you'll be greeted with something like this. Now, this code in here, unless you want to control or yeah, unless you want to control your AI will be relatively useless. So you can just delete all of this. What you also want to do is you want to delete the follow camera and the camera boom. As again, this is not a character we want to control and it is only an AI that is supposed to walk towards the player. So we don't need these components. Now, normally when you're making an AI, you would normally use Pawn sensing. Pawn sensing, for those who do not know, basically is it enables the pawn to sense the player. In our case, we don't need this, so for this video, we can just delete this. So to create an AI that constantly moves towards the player, you need a few things. First of all, you need a custom event, and you just want to call this move towards player, or moving towards player, AI move towards player, whatever you want but you want a custom event which you'll use to move towards the player. Then you want another custom event, which we'll call get player position. Again, you can also name this whatever you want, but in my case, I'll just be calling it get player position. Then we will also need event tick and event begin play. And these four events is all you will need to make this AI. So starting off with the most simplest thing is moving the AI towards the player. Now you can do this in a few methods, but the one that I found worked for myself the best is you want to type cast to third person character. Now again, depending on what you're using, if it's a first person or third person, this would be different. In my case, it's third person character. Out of the object then, you want to get player character. What you then want to do is you want to right click on SBP third person character and promote this to a variable. Now you can again, you can name this whatever you want. I will just call it player ref or player reference. Then out of player ref, you want to select or you want to type an AI move to with the pawn being a reference to self, the target actor being the player. And now we need a destination because obviously the AI knows, okay, he needs to move towards the player, but it will not know where the player is if the player is moving around, which is where this comes into place. So you wanna click down here at variables, you wanna make a new variable and call this player POS or position, whatever. And by default, this will be a Boolean, which you wanna click on and change to a vector because we wanna get the XYZ position of the player or their world location, which is why we need it to be a vector. Then you need to drag out of this and get it and set it. Then we remember we made our player ref up here. From down here, you can just drag this and get and get actor location. You then wanna plug the return value into the player position and that is done. Of course, then compile and save. What you then wanna do is you wanna take your player position variable, which is now getting set down here, and you wanna plug this into the destination of your AI move too. Then up here in event tick, you want to call your event which sets the player position because obviously your player or you will be moving around the map or your environment constantly. So obviously you want to call this every single frame. So every frame the game knows where the player is moving and then sets that as the player position and the AI knows where the player is at every time. So out of event tick, you wanna get player position just like this. And then now up here in event again play, we need to actually call to move towards the player. So move towards the player, just like that. And this is basically all you have to do. So you now have your BP AI, which you can place in the scene. But if you just place it into your scene after having done this and you spawn in, you'll realize it's not moving. So even though we did, every, we did all of the code correct, the AI is not moving. And why is that? Well, the answer is simple. The AI currently has no area to walk in. So what you want to do is preferably you want to place actors 
you want to get this tab this tab is very useful which you can get by clicking on the plus icon up here and place actor panel and in here you want to search for nav mesh bounds volume you want to place this into your level now at first this just looks like nothing but if you press p you will see a green little box will appear this green box basically shows where the ai can walk so if we make this quite big like this big and then move this towards the center and drag it out more Everything in the green now means the AI can walk there. So if we just also make this bigger, the AI can now basically walk anywhere. You'll see there are a few spots like here and here where the AI can't walk to, but that should not be that much of an issue. So now that we have our nap um, mesh bounds in, if we click play now, you'll see the AI moves towards the player. Now I will make this a bit slower just to show that it actually constantly follows the player, even if the player is not inside we'll decrease the max walk speed to 150 just so we're quite a lot faster than the ai so now if we start playing you'll see the ai starts moving towards us so even if we run around the ai it will always move towards us and even if we run all the way over here and the ai should not be able to see us you can tell or you can see the ai still moves towards us and will continue to do so now, one thing you will probably also notice, though, that is if you let the AI touch you or you get into its radius like this and then you run away, it won't be chasing you anymore. Why is that? Well, it's also quite simple. In our script, what we're currently doing is on the event begin play. So when this blueprint code or when this blueprint starts playing with your scene, it calls the move towards player function. And as you can see, currently it will move towards the player. However, there's an acceptable acceptance radius and this basically means if the AI reaches the position of the player in this radius, it will have moved towards the player and it will do nothing. Now, there's a few things you can do. You can do move towards player again. You can just call this back here and you will see this will work. So we go back into the game, run here, let's touch us and then run out again. It will still chase us. You can do it like this. So after on success, just call your move towards player function, but you can also add it into your event tick. So we can also just do move towards player. You can see both versions will work. If we walk close to it, it will still be chasing us. Now, I would personally recommend you try to not use event tick for most of these things, just because event tick can cause a lot of load on the person on the player's pc so try to use event tick as sparingly as possible so for this video over this one we can just do move towards player and that is that now for your game you might want your ai to kill the player if it reaches them for that you would do something entirely different what you would do for that is you would create a custom event called kill player you would have your code here and then you would do on success Kill player. But yeah, that is it for this video. We now have made an AI that will constantly follow the player no matter where they are on the map. If you want me to expand on this by showing how to make it so if the AI reaches the player, it will kill them with a little animation and the player will respawn, then leave a like and tell me in the comments. But yeah, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.